All right, friend. You ready? You got to open up now. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, what you going by? Big Moolah. Big Moolah. That's two of those. Let them know. Okay. Big Moolah, put your right hand up and your left hand on your word, whatever you decide that is. Cool? cool. Hold it just like that. Do you solemnly agree we have your permission to post this across all of our social media platforms? Yes. Is there anything, and I do mean anything, that's off limits you don't want us to ask you about? No. If we do ask you something that is off limits, do you understand you can tell us no, we'll pass you and move on? Perfect. All right, let's get it. Okay, literally is no pressure. I'm your host, Bangum Bug. It's your girl, Just K for real. And we got a special guest she already introduced herself, so tell us where you originally from. I'm originally from Chicago. Okay. Where? Southside, 39th Street, Loan. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what brought you here? To Atlanta? Yeah. Okay, so my brother was all was involved in a bad accident. And they told her told us that he didn't make it or whatever. Mm -hmm. So my mom would have to start running her business. I came out here to see what was going on because it was during COVID or whatever. Mm -hmm. So we ended up praying to him and he was alive. So I was going back and forth to make sure he was okay. So when he got released from the hospital, he needed, you know, close family here. So I was like, I might as well just go because my mama got all this going on. So I came. And in the midst of that, I'm like, I got to start bringing my daughter. So I'm like, forget, I might as well try to find a place to stay or whatever. So coming out here visiting or whatever, I'm like, since I do music, me into one of these contests or something. And then I did that. And it was like, you know, my little crowd came or whatever. We rapped or whatever. They didn't tell us right then and there who won. We sent it through a cash app and then they posted it on social media. And yeah. I was the winner. I won $250. Yeah. And I'm like, dang. So I went back to Chicago or whatever. I'm like, dang, it was kind of cool because people started out here reaching out to me. I'm like, they're okay. They like me out there. Keep coming back, checking on my brother, make sure he get well. By that time, I get a crib out here. Now I got my daughter in school. Now I'm working two jobs. So I'm like, I'm just here. So I'm like, I'm here, I might as well just keep going with the music, and that's what I did. Okay. What's your favorite thing that made music like? Stuff that I've seen, stuff that I've been around. Like telling stories? Yeah. Kind of stories, lit stories, crazy stories, wild stories. Yeah. 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 Storytelling. Okay, so what's the relationship like with your child's father? <laughs> My child's father is deceased. Mm. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Okay, and um, so what's what's your relationship like with your dad? My father is deceased. Damn. How is like all your life, or did you grow up with him? The age of thirteen. Was y'all cool? He was in and out of prison, so not really. Mm -hmm. But right before he died, yeah. 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 That's what's up. You reached out, he reached out. It was like he appeared. Oh, he just popped out. It was crazy, yeah, but I don't want to talk about that. Okay. Yeah. Right, we had somebody on here that was like, her, she ain't know who her father was. I can't remember who it was, but she ain't know who her daddy was. And he popped up at the door, like, I'm your daddy. She was like, okay. <laughs> oh, that's what, well, if that's what happened, then that's what happened. That's what happened. I mean, I'm, I'm saying it's yours. I'm saying we had somebody that was their story. <laughs> okay. Okay, um, a situation that made you stronger as a person. So, I, like, I was in college or whatever. First, I was like, I was rough, so everybody never thought, like, I have a, do a baby or anything or whatever. Mm -hmm. So it always been on my mind, like, if I ever have a child, I'm having a girl, and it's going to be my only child. But I was so rough, they like, nobody having no baby, which you do too much. <laughs> Down the line in college, I end up getting pregnant. I end up having a little girl. And I was just like, dang. And then she was, the look that I had just like me. So I was just like, it's too much, okay? Yeah. I messed up, okay? <laughs> so I was just like, dang, I got to fix my ways. Because, man, she going to grow up and be, and I don't want that. Mm -hmm. Especially the environment we from. So that's, that's my daughter. Funny. How old is she now? She's 11. Okay. Okay, so what type of niggas you go for? Um, you like street niggas or? <laughs> <laughs> she got to turn it up over there. I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, I don't got no 
looks like baggy is the only thing. He's one of the niggas who's going to pay some bills. I don't like goofy people, though. What's goofy to you? People be goofy. I don't like goofy people. Give me an example of a nigga being goofy. The, the, all right, we all say, all the jewelry on, all the this. He got on this, this head, this one designer. That shoe is designer. This is why you being goofy. Why you got all that on? That's just goofy. Doing too much. It's, yeah, just, too it's much. like attention, like rings on the car type. Yeah, thing. just that's unnecessary. Mm -hmm. Well, niggas get, get. I mean, niggas get girls like that. That's why they do it. The rings out and, here. No, I don't like that. That's like that's a turn shit, off. Though, like. That's that's goofy though. That's not no. <laughs> no. No. Don't do goofy, it. No. Uh -uh. no. <laughs> okay. <this is> uh, <laughs> okay. So, have you um has a guy have um pulled you who was like that, and you just like stopped fucking with him because it was just too much? Um. I feel like she didn't have a couple goofies. Yeah, but they weren't like that goofy. They were just like trying to. Well, they kind of was sort of like that goofy, but it wasn't just that flashy. But mm -hmm. just do little dumb stuff here. <laughs> okay. So the niggas who you see. Be like got all this uh, drip on. Like, do they really be having money, or they just be looking like? Uh uh. They, they don't got money. no money. Or do they pretend like they ain't got no money? No, they don't. They, they, don't, they, have they don't have they no be money. Up. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's hit or miss around them parts. Mm -hmm, they ain't got it. Okay. That's what's up. Okay. Um. What's the best way to end a friendship without start, starting a beef? I just don't talk to nobody. No? You don't have no friends? I got a few. In Georgia, they all think. No, I have no friends in Georgia. You want friends in Georgia? Or you like, fuck these hoes? Um, I'm on associates in Georgia, but I nah, don't fuck nobody, no. Hello, what's you say again when you don't fuck nobody? <laughs> what you saying? No, She's no. saying not fuck, not fuck no, them. No, like much. not fuck them, but. I don't got that. We don't got to be friends with someone. We don't got to do that. We do a social business. You know what I mean? Hey. I, I feel like that's the best side of Because a lot of people, people just don't want you to have nothing. Yeah. Here. Like who? Oh, I, I, it could be like, I see that a lot in workplaces. I don't work in Georgia no more, but working in somewhere, they just don't want, they want to know all your business to make sure you don't have more than what they got. So let it be like coworkers. Especially not being from here, I see that. You seen people do that, or they have? It has that? happened to me. Okay. What, what my, you doing? What kind of work are you doing? I was working in a restaurant. Yeah. But my mom goes through it. People from New York that I'll meet randomly, they go through the same thing. It's just people don't want to know that you got anything greater than what they got. But that's the only reason they try to get to know you to make sure you don't. I don't. I mean, maybe that's women shit. I guess. It could be. Okay, um, what's the best way to apologize for cheating? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't you cheat? never cheated, huh? Um, you ain't never apologize for it. I don't, I, don't, I don't do all that. That's messy. I don't do that. You never cheated on nobody? Every girl say yeah. they don't cheat on here. Every girl you come on here to say. Oh, man. <laughs> Things happen, you know. Uh, what do that mean? Yeah, that's, that's all. If you cheat, you you tell her. No, huh? you gonna die by that lie. Okay. Hello. <laughs> no. Mm -mm. Catch me. <laughs> I'm cracking up. But she don't cheat though, y'all. <laughs> Meg said, if I make up the rules, then I don't think it's cheating. Huh? Megan Stein said, if I make up the rules, then I don't think it's cheating. Yeah. So would you um would you uh do an open relationship or you just like? You only can fuck with me like when you date a guy. I don't want to be in a relationship. I'm done with all that. Until you find somebody that's doing what you I want. Ain't nobody. I don't need no. I don't need nobody. My mom that's always you know. used to say, "You need somebody." So I mean, I'm tired I, I was of like that. I was like that, but she said, "You need somebody." I'm tired of people. Why you tired of people? What they do to you? Everything. What was the last thing? People do. Ugh. People crazy. Yeah. And yeah, I don't like crazy. I can't deal with crazy. So your box good. Yeah, we we I don't want to deal with crazy. It's over. Yes. Heard that. Okay. Um. 
just of course say don't look back on you're not going that way so something in your past is uh that's hard not to think about I have no idea. <laughs> okay, um Okay, give me the most the most girl thing that you do. <laughs> I'm crying. Not cracking up. I need to get up. <laughs> So it's nothing you do. That's why you laughing like that? Because you not got a... I know. You don't say, ah, and like all that shit. I hey. do when I'm in the car driving, yeah. Okay. I be ghetto when I'm singing in the car. Uh, what about when you're performing? I mean, if that's what they, if they want to take it that way, I'll be like, I'm going to get on you. Like, oh, oh, oh. Whatever they need. Hey, why she talking rude? Uh -huh. She like, okay. okay. The um, the most valuable thing you learned in a relationship. Um, so you learned that everybody the same? Yes. I don't like nobody. So do you like date niggas who don't work and shit? Like, <laughs> she like exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying. He just, he he just be at home thinking how he gonna start some shit. Okay, cause you ain't got no. <laughs> that's that's crazy. It's too much. Mm -hmm. So you need a nine to five nigga who ain't on no street shit no more. Little Taco Bell. Little Taco Bell. Mm -hmm. Little Taco Bell. <laughs> I'm crying. She hilarious. Okay, um a no, bad decision that um brought you wisdom. Dragging somebody here that didn't really want to be there. Mm hmm A female or a guy? A guy. Where he at now? I, I, I have no idea. So how y'all end it? Or how you end You ended it? We bad. Go that way, go that way. We done. That's what I kept saying. Okay. Um, the last time you said, I don't care, but deep down you really did. Um, I don't think my daughter was going to be breaking my nerves. She used to call me. She's breaking my nerves. How old is she? Eleven. You gonna have more? Uh uh, nah, we on the pool. How you doing? I'm talking on the radio pool. Oh, I'm well, back. Can I get that shirt? Sure. Alright, hey y'all. Hey. <laughs> hey. 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 Oh yeah. Let me go knock some shit off. Let me block some shit. Okay, um she oh uh, okay, he said nobody born after two thousand should be named Brenda, Linda, Gloria. And, and she, she was, said nobody born after such and such should have little and name now. Over the age of forty five she had a little. Yeah. What would y'all think about that? Was funny. She got his ass back. That's what your ass did. You wanna talk shit. You playing play for the wrong Stop one. Playing with her. Yeah, <laughs> she ain't one of them. <laughs> well, yeah, she handled it well because most people, they. Yeah, she don't play with nobody. She be, yeah, they be trying, she be talking. But she seems really, like, she know how to handle her business and handle herself at the same time. Because I was watching something with her today, and she was trying to, like, put out there because they were talking about that music, the song that she can't claim because of the engineer or whatever. And it was a lot of stuff. She was like, I'm not going to go there because it's legal, but I'm going to tell y'all everything. And she handled herself well, even though her friends like, man, fuck that nigga. Like, Eric, her friends would pop out. She'd be like, um, yeah. And she'd just keep it moving. Yeah, I guess, um, she used to, like, you know, growing up a certain way, you know how to throw jokes back. Mm -hmm. Some people don't know how to handle that shit. Okay, what's, what's something you never got to vent that you might want to? 
talked about it. Nothing. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> People are too people are very sweet. They Why were? they try you? Yeah. Okay, um well, shit, you've been you've been tying down all of my questions for real. <laughs> So let's get into some stuff you want to talk about then. Um, yeah, you as an artist, let's talk about that. So you came here from Chicago, you said, right? Yeah. All right, so with that transition, let's talk about the people. What was the first thing, if you noticed anything different um, about the people here versus the people in Chicago? I'm going to be honest. Mm -hmm. The people here, they just... If they something, if it's something that they like, they gonna rest on to you. Mm. They don't gotta know you, but they gonna, oh, okay. Or they like the style, where you get that? Oh, okay. Versus from where I'm from. Mm. When you do it out there, we got the book for you. What, like not, there's no support? Uh, You got this one support that one, and that one support this one, but we ain't support this one because that one support that one. Oh, it's catty. Yeah. With the men as well? Them too. They act like women too, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you felt more embraced coming here performing? Um, yeah, for me to be sometimes popping up with just me and my cousin, or my brother, or just me and my cousin, or sometimes if I'm grabbing by myself, the crowd cheering for me, and don't nobody know me. Yeah. Like, okay, she hot. Yeah. And I could be, I was feeling it. I definitely feel that too. You, you Have you ever performed back home? No, just in Jersey. Okay, see, that's why I'm I'm, I'm doing my shit late. So I'm doing it late. What about you? I've hosted a lot of stuff back home. I've never performed as an artist. Why don't you throw an event there? I want to do that eventually. I I tried to do that a couple times, but I be needing people out there to make moves for me. Now that my um, assistant is out there, I could do that. But the people who was there, they wasn't trying to write. Being here doing music, do you feel like you got people you want to work with? Um, and not necessarily mainstream, but people you come across. Yeah, I ran across like, it's like, dang, I ain't never heard of this style of this flow before. Mm -hmm. I'm like, it's different, but then people look at me like, oh yeah, she ain't from here, look how she, you know. And I'm like, they style is different, but I like it, I can, you know. Yeah. And I constantly get that here like, okay, they from over here, so they sound like this, they from over here, and they sound like this, but it's already in the same. So I be like, okay, cool. Yeah, it's like the same round. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we're gonna wrap it up then. Um, so what you wanna say, Kevin? Um, I wanna focus on anything that you feel like you want the audience to leave with after they met you. Remember this space. Tell them though, because they remember see you every this. day. <laughs> I'm sick of the Yeah, I remember this <laughs> space though. Remember this voice. Okay. Big Moolah, that's two L's. Underscore. What excites you? What pipe you up? Life. What in life? Sometimes I wake up, be like, huh, then my hug go for bang, and sometimes I just wake up like bang, and then I just be charged all day. Yeah. And every day it seems like it greater and greater and greater and greater, then it might go back down, but then something good will happen again, now you go back up. So you, you know how to so probably So I've been going up. Okay. So I'm focused on continue going up, manifesting. Yes. That's right. Speaking, claim it. So I ain't no, I ain't no uh, big uh, female artist out of Chicago, right? Ain't nobody ever pop female. Of. Well, Katie got bands. She was featured on Nicki Minaj's Super Freak Remix, Freaky Girl oh, Remix. Lit. She's from Chicago. She went out for a while, but she's she in there now. Mm -hmm. So her. I know her. I heard the song. It's hard. Right. Has she? I don't know her part. I got. I just know Nikki song, like Nikki on the song. But I got. If I go. Yeah, back but she's on the remix with Ice Bar and JT and Nyla. Okay, see, I haven't heard that version. Yet. Yeah. Nikki, well, she got a thing for motherfuckers out of Chicago because I know Dirk was saying um, he she put him on the song early on. Like, is what's in the, Is Fabio from Chicago? No. Oh, okay. Cause I just heard her say that nigga name uh, mm -hmm. just in her bars, and I'm like, okay. I guess she just fuck with Chicago, so that's what's up. Okay, so uh, literally, it's no pressure. 
I guess we gonna wrap this up and we'll see y'all in a minute, man. We out. Hola.